Hey everyone, we're here for La Palm Magazine Summer Edition. We've got a star from inside, one of the supermodels, Kristen Gutowski, who you may also know from what show is that? Uh, containment and relationship status also out right now. So you went from a turtle, which you must have nailed, <laughs> to a hit show. I don't know if I nailed, if I did, if I did the turtle justice. It was my first kind of performance. First turtle. First turtle. I got painted green. It was grade one. It was a, a grade one, grade two, grade three, somewhere in there. It was um, a transformative time in my life. Yes. And I think, uh, oh, someone's in trouble. <laughs> By the look on your face, I think we know who it is. So let's continue. You nailed the reptilian. It was very hot nailed back in those reptilian. days. Reptilian. That's a weird, How, weird phrase, like a weird phrase right there. <laughs> I got to work on phrasing. That's for sure. How did it wind up being that all of a sudden, hey, Katie Frank, let's do this. Oh, gosh. I mean, I've been doing this since I was 10 years old, so it was kind of just something I enjoyed as a child, and I continued to work at it. And there was really, there was maybe a little time where I took off to go to university, but other than that, there was never no, there was never a doubt in my mind that this is what I'm supposed to do, so I just kind of continued on. Classes, uh, plays, auditions, jobs, just... And music, too. And music, yeah, I love Singer, music. Singer, songwriter. Yeah. I went to the MySpace page to watch you play guitar, and MySpace, I... MySpace? My gosh, am I still up there? I did heavy research. You, you're on the show. You said people are not hypochondriacs. And in your place, I watched the interview, there's no five-second rule because it's only your feet. If you drop food? If I drop food, it's only my feet. In my, in my apartment, you mean? Yes. Yeah, I mean, there might be other people's feet, like visitors. Mm. But I don't like to think about that. Essentially, you know, if, if I don't like to waste food. Mm -hmm. And it depends what the food is. Like, if it's something that can pick up particles, you probably don't. There's, like, a zero-second rule. Yeah. But if it's, like, a chip... A chip. That could a be chip, there for two, the three days. It's not going to pick up a hair, you know? If it's maybe avocado, I mean, you can rinse it off, but it would be a little riskier. Yeah, and you can always yeah. get another one. So it's really, you just have to use your judgment when you drop food on the floor. <laughs> You're funny. <laughs> now, one question I had heard asked is that you would prefer a zombie apocalypse to a deadly outbreak. Uh, yeah, great. because the outbreak is silent. You can't see it. At least you can see. Well, I guess a zombie apocalypse. It starts with an outbreak, mm -hmm. but you have to eventually get. You have to get bit. Yeah. So you kind of have a little more of a shot. Than, You're tough because I mean a zombie coming around the corner. Yeah. Well, I mean if we're talking, it depends what kind of zombies we're talking. If we're talking Walking Dead zombies, they move really slow, so you could just psh, just give them a little backhand and they're and you're fine. You're an expert. Yeah, I mean, I think what is it like 28 days later? All those other movies. I think the zombies or like uh, Legend. Those zombies are like. So you have to know the varietal. You have to identify your zombie. You have to first. identify your type of zombie. Yeah, 28 days later. No. no, no. <laughs> Forget it. I don't know. I, don't, I haven't seen it in a long time, but I'm assuming they were pretty bad in that one. And you also have relationship status. Tell us about uh, that. Vignettes a, or something? It's a digital series. If you actually watch all 12, I think it's 12 or 13 episodes, if you watch it all together as one, it's like a, vin a vignette feature, kind of like Love Actually, but it's aired as episodes, but 11-minute episodes. It's just basically following love in the digital age and how we manage things like dating apps and texting and the mixed messages that come with that kind of thing. It's a, it's a new language. It's a new language, yes. Our, our minds are a little... I mean, the overanalyzing of, 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 a, of a guy you're dating it probably is like amped up tenfold because you're wondering why they haven't texted back. You see the little three dots on, and then the three dots go away and the text feed, you're like, why did he start typing? And then he did it. What's going on? So, <laughs> it's so different than listening to a voicemail. Girl. Now you're like, yeah, at least I heard his call. voice. call. Like when people call, you're like, is something wrong? Are you okay? But uh, so it's kind of, it's following the real life hilarity of... Which everyone is facing now, unless you're married. Exactly. And some married people, too. I'm hoping not. No. We don't advocate that. No, we it don't. It could lead to a deadly outbreak or a zombie apocalypse. It could. People could get angry and, like, spew viruses at their significant other for being on a dating app. Well, you know who to call in case that happens. We've got the expert here. Yes. All right. Yes. Everybody, check out Containment. We have the star here, Katie Frank. And uh, when is it on? Uh, Tuesdays at 9 p.m. on The CW. Don't miss it, guys. It's awesome, and it's also terrifying. It is. I freak Next out. few episodes are crazy. Seriously. You do some heavy tweeting too while it's on. I we got to. Those fans are amazing. You got to give them some love. All right. Well, we got someone who gives it right back.